heart is broken, y'all. My heart is broken. How is it that in 2016, out of the 505 police brutality cases in the US, most of them are black and Latino. I'm afraid for my black brothers and sisters. I'm afraid for my brown brothers and sisters. Mr. Castillo's was in his car about to pull out his license. That's what you do, right? If they ask you, they pull you over, they ask you, show me your license and registration. And he shot him and watch him die in front of his, his four-year-old. She is scarred for life, y'all. She will never be the same. And I'm looking around and I'm looking at all of us and I'm wondering who's next. Is it you? Is it you? I'm wondering who's next. It's a problem. And we cannot continue to live like this. We're afraid every single day for our lives. How is it that in, in, this, in this country, you have 20% of black and Latino people and 70% of them are, make up the, the rates of incarceration. People in jail right now, 70%, when it's only 30% of us out here. How is it that 70% of us are in jail? How? How is a black man three times more likely to die out from a police encounter than a white man? Makes no sense. Why? I'm not an angry black woman. We're not angry. We're grieving out here in them streets. We're sad. We're bleeding in our hearts. Because our future is not guaranteed right now. It makes no sense, y'all. It makes no sense. Like I said, there's white people that feel just like us. They hate the fact that they're white and they just white supremacy because it makes them look bad too. They, it makes white people look bad. There's, there's probably thousands and millions of white people that's like, yo, I'm not like that. I love everybody. So why the hell do people gotta say black or white? The white people that's here right now represents all the white people around the world that feels like us. You gotta understand that. And that's how we gotta treat it. That's how we gotta look at it. The white people that's here right now, they represent every single white person that feels like us. We gotta stop looking at color. Wanna know why? Because when we look at color, that's separating us. We can't separate no more. The reason why there's a problem is because there's separation. There's no more separation. There's black people here, there's Asians here, there's Spanish people, and there's white people. One thing that we share is love, and there's no color with that. I have a niece. She's black and white. She told me that, uncle, I'd rather just live on my white side because I will live longer. She's willing to reject herself. Her mom is white, my brother is black. She said, I'd rather be white than black because black people are dying and black people are hated. It makes no sense why any white person should feel that way. It made no sense why any black person should feel that way. So every white person that's here, right? I love y'all because y'all have a responsibility just like we have a responsibility. And right now y'all living to y'all responsibility and what y'all represent. Y'all represent all the white people around the world that feel like us. And we need your help. Like us. And we so, need your help. Right. We so when, listen, help. so when this stuff hit social media, when this stuff hit the, the, the Facebooks, right? They're not just gonna see black, they're gonna see white. And that's gonna encourage another white person with hatred in his heart to get love in his heart because he's gonna see his white brother being brothers with a black brother. So the more white people we get, the more Asian people we get, the more Spanish people we get equals to the more black people we have that's still alive that's not gonna get shot. That's what it equals to because it's not about skin color. I don't hate a white person when a white person shoot a black dude. I do not hate a white person when he do that. Want to know why? Because we all fall short and we all get lost. But we have to appreciate the love that's here. We have, to be, we have to be mindful that there's white people in the crowd here. And they feel it. When we say white people is this, white people that, right? They're here with us because they don't want that to happen no more, man. They're not pulling triggers on us. They're not pulling triggers on us. They're not. You look at this dude, he got tears in his eyes because he feel the same way. He feel the same way as us. You understand? He has a voice too. 
I need for y'all to start stepping up just like we need to start stepping up. We just prayed together. That was my first time praying in the streets at Times Square. Thank God for that. Yes. Thank God for that. Yes. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. I used to be scared of my faith. I used to be scared to say I believe in God in public. I used to be scared to say I love everyone in public. What are we scared for? There's no reason to be scared. So treat everyone the same. You have white brothers right here that will be willing to die for you right here, right now. And if that happened, it will be white laying down, black laying down, Spanish laying down, and Asian laying down. It doesn't even matter what color we are. We are all the same. So we have to stick together. White brothers, go tell some more white brothers That's that right. you got a whole bunch of fucking black brothers. Right. Spanish brothers, go tell Woo! some more Spanish brothers that you got a whole bunch of white brothers. Asian brothers, go tell some Asian brothers that you got a whole bunch of black, Spanish, and white brothers. We look like a big ass love collage. That's what we represent. Thank you. I wanted to speak on behalf of the youth because the system is not educating your children like they should be. They don't, I graduated high school and realized that I didn't know shit, jack shit. <laughs> like, teach your children, take them to school, but when they get out of school, you need to put them on to what happened in Egypt, what happened in Babylon. They need to know. Teach your children they're kings, man. They're kings. Kings and queens. Kings and queens, man. All of us, all of us. We were stripped of that. Don't let them forget. Don't let them forget. Their future is just as important as theirs, man. My son will be successful. He has every potential just to be just as successful as everybody else's yeah. child. Yeah. Everybody else's child. Yeah. It's not fair. Yeah. It's not fair, man. It's not fair. It's not fair that he won't be blessed with the same opportunities just because he got some melanin in his pigment. Why? It don't make no sense. Shit don't make no sense. So I think in a, a way to de-escalate all of this bullshit is to put people from the community in the community as far as the police goes. And they'll listen and they won't be so fearful because fear makes people act. It either makes you act or it makes you get paralyzed. And as you can see from the, the, the Chinese policeman, he was scared. He was fearful. So he acted. Once he asked the guy for his license, Alt come on, Alton Sterling, that shit hurts. That shit hurts. It's a bounty for our brothers' heads. And all of y'all who are at home right now watching that and you live in New York, shame on you. I'm Ayanda. I'm from Seattle. I came here to let off some steam. I still don't feel better because I've been doing this for years. And uh, I'm tired of doing it. I'm tired of begging people to understand the validity of black life and I'm I'm not asking for people to accept that black lives matter anymore I'm tired of that shit black lives do matter and I why should I have to convince anybody of that and I think the way NYPD acted tonight was disgusting they didn't hit any well they took down that girl you know I just think it's interesting how you know we were literally crying in front of the cops earlier and they have these poker faces and they're just trained to mentally and emotionally detach themselves from the situation. Even though the people that they're supposed to be protecting and serving are, you know, literally expressing their pain and they could not give less of a fuck. And I think that is telling and it shows this system has to be torn down from the inside out. There is no such thing as reform for this. It's built off of centuries of anti-black racism and the first American policing group was Runaway Slave Patrol. So it's literally the foundation is anti-blackness. I think the protest tonight was cute. I think we all needed it, but I'm ready to do more. So I mean, when black America is ready, let me know. I'm literally in full formation. Like, I'm ready to go. That's how I feel. Police should be held to a higher standard. They are here to protect and serve us. Our tax dollars are paying their salary, and they are here harassing us and killing us. They ask about black on black crime. The thing is, civilians shouldn't have to answer for civilian crime. We're talking about the people who are here to protect and serve. Exactly. And they're the ones that are supposed to uphold the utmost of the law. However, they are the most they are the biggest transgressors of the law. Six they're weeks in the police academy and they think they're Superman and they have and they're above the law. And you know what? 
The reason they think that is because time and time again, it has been shown that they are above the law, and that has to stop. Keep making our voices heard until they listen. Until, until the police start policing themselves. They need to call out the bad cops. They need to say, hey, you don't do your job well. Exactly. You don't do your job when well. When the good cops, the supposed good cops that are out there that everybody talks about, Oh, there are good cops here. Where uh, are they? Where are they? Why don't where they, are they speak up? Why don't they say something? Exactly. Where what, are they? What, what's his name? What's the bird? The Peter Rosenberg. Had... Exactly. He Asked said, the same question. He said, I see a DJ doing a bad job. I go, hey, you're not doing your job well. Where are the cops that say, excuse me, that man is not doing his job well. Why is well. it accepted? Why is it acceptable? Why is it even a question? Oh, we need to see more? No, we saw that man be thrown to the ground with a man holding him down and shot in the chest and back. Repeatedly. Six times. And then they pulled the gun out of his pocket. There was nothing in his hands. Nothing. Nothing. Right. Nobody comes up with solutions. Where I'm from, I'm from a town called Greece in Rochester, New York. My town's very unique. We have four different high schools in one town. We have four different high schools in one town. We all have rivals, but right now we're working on a class. It's a cultural diversity class, basically to decrease racism in our town. Our town deflects the demographic of the whole United States of America. We have the same amount of whites, blacks, Hispanics, Asians, Arabs, everything, and everybody, everybody, no matter what race, is discriminated in some way in my town. Right. So what we're trying to do right now to solve the problem is get everybody together. Call it's called mosaics. Bunch of little people, little pieces coming together to make a bigger picture, form a bigger picture to solve the problem. And Rochester is one of the top five murder capitals in all of New York. So what we're trying to do is make this class, it's a club also community wide and start inviting everybody. So I feel like if everybody had a class like this to start at younger age, you could have closed minded parents. Honestly, sooner or later they're going to be gone. The kids are what the future is about. So you got to start the kids, teach the kids what is right. Don't let their parents get in their heads from when they're younger saying this person is not right because of whatever, because their skin color, their religion, whatever. So if everybody go home and tell your schools, your elementary schools, try to start a class like this, start at the younger ages and they could build up and this will no longer be a problem. That's it. Thank you so much. Beautiful. You awake? I'm awake. I'm stay awake. What do we want? Justice! What do we want it now? What do we want? Justice! What do we want it now? What do we want? Justice! What do we want it now? What do we want? Justice!